guys, it's Veron from Secret Stars and welcome back to my channel. And I still stumble on my own intro because my username is too dang long. <laughs> anyway, we are doing, you know, it's a chill, I guess it's a chill piece, I don't really think it's a chill piece, it ended up being almost 18 minutes, but it's supposed to be a chill piece, there's no really um, set concept or theme or idea with this. Uh, I just really wanted to draw something and I didn't really want to do anything mm, like the usual stuff I guess. So if you've been watching my channel that you know that I usually do stuff with some form of concept be it like a, a knight that's like flower based or maybe it's a character design, maybe it's a, a themed thing like um, flora series. Um, or like the moon goddess or something like that. Sometimes it's, it's fan art, sometimes it's character designing. I don't know about it, which I just repeated, but I'm sure I repeated the word just now. But it's been a while since I actually drew something that is just plain and simple drawing. And I felt like I needed that right now. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm in a bit of a, I don't know, like, I'm in a bit of a weird mood. I don't know why. Maybe it's an ex existential crisis, who knows, I don't know like, what's happening. But I need a chill piece that I didn't really need to be super serious about, I guess. So I ended up drawing one of my characters. It's been a while since I drew one of them in in a you know in a more illustration type of piece rather than a, a concept -y type of thing. So we're drawing Serial Nereitalus, he's one of my really well developed characters. He's super old. Uh, you might have seen him on the channel several times already. Uh, I've done character designs for him. He might have popped up in a couple of drawings already. I'm not really sure. Um, but he's one of my characters. Uh, yeah, I just haven't drawn him in a while. <laughs> I don't know. Are you guys interested about hearing about him? Mm, I don't really know. <laughs> There's no one talks about stuff in the comments I guess. If you're interested like maybe drop it in the comments I can talk about him some other time and or draw him again and talk about him there. Uh, but basically he is supposed to be a character that's somewhat like a Nekomimi so that's like human with cat ears except he's a character with with wings so he's a, like a bird type of character. Um, me being the very uninformed child I was in I don't know, high school? Not Maybe not even. He's a Philippine Eagle. Um, which kind of betrays where I come from, obviously. But, uh, you know, that's what he ended up being. And I couldn't really change what he was well in this development. So I just ran with it. Sometimes those are the life choices you have to make with your own characters. Especially since he's a character that I use for RPs. And it's a personal RP, it's a really private one. This is between me and my best friend, so he ended up being really, really, really well developed, and a lot of his character centers around him being a tropical bird. So I couldn't bear to change what he was at a very, very late stage. Even like his hair color, his color scheme, um, they're not, they're, they're not right, <laughs> which is a theme with a lot of my characters. Um, they're not, they're not the they're not the best representation of what they're supposed to be, but because they've been bad for such a long time, I couldn't bear to change it anymore because that's what I've always used to describe them or to illustrate them. And they're not the type of character that doesn't have a backstory that I could change willy nilly. This is supposed to be chill. Why am I going in the about character creation? I don't know. Um, yeah, so, right. So this is supposed to be a chill piece, but I guess using water, I mean not using watercolors rather, ended up not making it a super chill piece because if you've been watching my channel you know that I'm very watercolor centric. Uh, even in this drawing alone I would use watercolors towards the end but you would know that my main medium is actually watercolors, um, not even digital art or anything like that. So watercolors is usually go to when I feel like I want to do something nice or if I want to chill out but I wanted to use my Copics because I got them and I feel like it's a waste if I just keep them on the shelf and I wanted to get better at them. But 
the glow pick set that I have, which is the one that you see on screen, does not have all of the colors that I need for this character. So also in this drawing, I'll be using the Fairy Castle Pit Artist Pen. So they're um, also fine, um, also brush pen type. You only see it on screen right now. They also brush pen type markers, but they are inja ink based. So they are water based, I guess, or ink based. Um, they work differently against the Copex, obviously, because Copex are alcohol based. So the way that they blend, if they do at all, and the way that they layer is much different than the Copex. Uh, I feel like I haven't been able to use them a lot lately because I'm not really sure what kind of paper um, they work well with. So I've tried them out with different kinds of paper. So I try, I wanted to find a paper where it wouldn't like slide off or it wouldn't, it wouldn't like destroy the paper. Um, Obviously, the moleskin worked well for it, but the moleskin is too, um, like the surface is too slippery or too, too smooth to the point that it's hard to layer the colors. So what I, what ended up happening is that they work well with cardstock to some extent, but they are working super duper well. I guess it's almost obvious why, but they work super duper well with watercolor paper, especially hot pressed ones. I guess it's obvious just because it's water based and it's supposed to take in a lot of water. I wish I thought that up earlier, but because I'm a little stingy with my watercolor paper, I didn't use them for it that much. But yeah, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> so the paper we're using is the Fabriano um, hot press paper. I don't remember what the specifics are. If I reach over, I can probably get it. Here it is. It's the Fabriano Aquarello Artistico Extra White 100% Cotton Hot Pressed 300 GSM Paper. And I only have a couple of leaves left. I should probably restock soon. But they're a little expensive. Well, not really. They're not super duper expensive. But, you know, if you're a starting artist, you might not want to go for this yet. <laughs> Okay, so what I'm doing right now is that I finished coloring up the hair with the Fabrian, uh, with the Faber Castles rather, uh, and now I'm going in on the skin with a little bit of lilac-y color because there's like some purple in his hair. Again, that is a remnant of my old character design methods, <laughs> and I can no longer go back on them because if I do, it's gonna ruin the entire history and backstory of the character. Yeah. Anyway, because there's there's since there's like a purple in his hair, I decided that maybe it would be good to add lilac to the skin as like a sort of a reflection from his hair onto the skin itself. Uh, and then it just I think it turned out pretty well. And then I layer over the brown to create more shadows and contrast. Now I may have gone a little bit too hard on the brown, like not right now, like there it is. I made a mistake with this because I felt like it made the chin look too deep when that is really isn't what I was going for. Uh, by the time that I noticed how much darker it got, I could no longer, no longer do much about it. So, happy little accident, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, this is supposed to be a chill piece, but it ended up being kind of, kind of serious, kind of long. Uh, it did relieve some, unforced, I mean, unseen stress, I guess, or on some hidden stress that I don't know about. <laughs> I just happen to be fe feeling, I don't know, whatever, whatever it is. <sighs> so actually, I want to talk about, you know, making mistakes with your own art piece. So if you were paying attention to the sketching phase of this entire video, uh, you would have seen that I first sketched something out, erased it, and then I tore the page out since it's just like a block of paper anyway, and I flipped it over. What you didn't see there was I cut out a lot of the first part because I already did one sketch on the front side of the paper, and I didn't really like how it turned out. So I did the sketch on my sketchbook first, I like how that turned out, and when I attempted to transfer it, I didn't like at all how it looked. 
and my first thought was maybe I can erase it but when I did the second sketch again it didn't really turn out and the paper was already maybe already too damaged at this point so I felt like it might be a bad idea to keep on working on that side so I pulled it out and the first thought was maybe I'll just throw it away and then I thought of just you know using the back side now this generally isn't a very good idea since the back side isn't always the same as the front side but you know it's a waste of paper it's expensive paper and I don't wanna just waste it because I made a mistake so I'm actually using the back side right now <laughs> and I feel like there's a little bit of difference with the front and the back side especially the way that they take water but it worked out well I mean and that's something I guess Especially if you're a younger artist, it's a bit hard to accept. Especially if you're just using paper that's super thin and it's not, you know, it's not uh, feasible to use the backside. But sometimes you make mistakes and I'm not any kind of pro artist or professional artist or any kind of amazing artist. I just happen to be drawing for 25 years of my life. Well, not really, maybe 22 years of my life. But, you know, that's something you have to accept and... Mm, get over right away so if you make a mistake like what I did like I had a, such a good sketch I really liked it even the final piece right now doesn't have the same vibe as the sketch that I made but um, that happens sometimes and sometimes it's due to your lack of skill sometimes it's just really a bad day or sometimes you just really can't recapture what you had in mind and the key is just to try again and not let it face you Sometimes it still does get me, but not as much anymore. Um, that's why I do thumbnailing and sketching. Um, I talked about this in the thumbnailing video. I can, I promote this particular video a lot since it's so, so helpful for me. And I feel like it's really, really valuable information. So the reason that people, the reason some people keep sketchbooks, or the way that I was taught how to keep sketchbooks once I got into art class, so it was supposed to be a way to, well, one, refine your skill or to help you get sketching every day. And two, it's also a way for you to get your ideas out before you finish the final piece. And for me, ever since I started doing that kind of technique or doing that like prep work, I feel a lot less frustrated with what I do. So though I do get bad days like the day where I couldn't quite recapture what I had sketched, it's not as soul crushing, I guess. Like, I know a lot of, or when I was a kid, I used to just, you know, sketch on the actual paper, um, erase, crumple the paper up, do whatever, redo it, and over and over again. And when I couldn't do it, I get super frustrated. And they felt like the sketchbook or doing thumbnails saved me a lot of that kind of pain even before I start getting serious with it. And even when I'm serious with it, I feel like because I managed to do it in the sketch, even if I can't do it in the final piece, I feel a lot less frustrated about it. And even if I do feel a little frustrated about it, I think an, an important skill as an artist that you must learn is to move on, to keep going. I mean, that's I guess that's a normal skill in life that's important. Um, do not get super duper down by your failures. <laughs> I guess it's an, an important life skill too, maybe. <laughs> um, where is this going? My gosh. We're almost at the end of the video. I bought my watercolors out already. <laughs> but yeah, um, I showed you that clip for the exact reason because I wanted to show that even people who's been drawing for quite some time like I have, though of course I'm not any kind of pro and my skill isn't any at, at any pro level, but any artist at any level will always have bad days, will always have times where they need to restart the piece, and the key is just to keep on going. The key is to not let it crush you, but just do it again. And if it fails, learn what you can and then do it again when you're a bit more confident. <laughs> But the key is to not stop. The key is to just keep on doing what you want to do. Yeah, I mean that's yeah. That's, I think that's the point of what I was trying to make. Don't stop. 
the host talk mainly? Nope, not gonna keep on it. Let's not do that. <laughs> so right now we're using watercolors because I don't wanna use up my Copics on the background. That's the main reason actually. I don't I didn't wanna use up all of my Copic ink just because I was trying to fill up the background. And I have watercolors, so might as well use them, right? Okay, let's recap a little bit in the video or do some ref reflections. Number one, don't stop believing in yourself. <laughs> Number two, um, I could definitely use a little bit more practice with line work again, especially since I used a bit of a different technique this time. Um, in general, my line work needs work, but I could use a little bit more practice. I feel like I'm a little bit rusty. A tiny bit rusty with my drawing skills. I feel. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> what else? Um, yeah, sometimes you just need to draw in a chill way. I, for some reason, I felt really pressured ever since I graduated to do pieces that have a lot of meaning and depth and concept behind them. But sometimes. You know, it's okay to do stuff that's just cute or pretty or you just want to draw your character. Like, there's nothing wrong with that. I'm gonna do my fan art, but to be honest, I'm, I'm doing way too much, so I'm gonna chill out on that a little bit. I might do one for Fate soon because of my... Well, we... Of course, it's never... It's not a very on video without Fate in it, but my archer Emya recently hit bond 10. So I want to do drawing for that soon. I really want to do it soon. Yeah, yeah. We'll see. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video despite all of the weird tangents and the super chill, relaxing, <laughs> super chill but not really chill nature of it, I guess. Yay! Yay! So if you enjoyed it, please like or even consider subscribing to my channel. If you want to see more, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, or TV and I'll see you around. <laughs>